The iPhone 8, sharing a lot of the same design decisions as the iPhone 7 and 6, is an extremely good iPhone model, however it's often overshadowed by the iPhone X due to the revolutionary technologies that the iPhone X introduced. And because of this, iPhone 8 prototypes don't often come up, let alone prototypes that are earlier than the PVT stage. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this rather interesting iPhone 8 prototype. Before we discuss the software, let's get into the actual hardware aspects of this prototype. Taking a look at the back, we can see that this prototype has some asset tags on it and the original blue factory plastic. Usually these are taken off when the prototype is actually being used by an engineer, so it's amazing that it still has it on. Upon investigating what the actual asset tag has on it, we can see that there are a few pieces of information. First of all, it says PE Golden at the very top, which I'm not even gonna lie, I don't know what it means. If any of you in the comments might have an idea, please let me know. Going down, we can see that the stage of this prototype is the PRB manufacturing stage. To say it simply, this is basically just a variation of the DVT manufacturing stage, which stands for Design Validation Testing. Going to the next line, we can see the configuration of this iPhone 8. The text D20 is the internal code name for the iPhone 8. While the other information, which I can't 100% confirm, is likely the manufacturing processes and the manufacturing line which this prototype iPhone 8 came from. The next line is just the serial number, and the next line is the asset tag for this prototype. Now, taking a look at the side of the prototype, we can actually see that it's engraved. Most of it is the information which we already went over, such as the serial number and the PRB manufacturing stage, but it also includes another asset tag that Apple can use to internally track this iPhone. But it is of course worth mentioning that engravings are extremely nice on any prototype. Now, delving into the actual software of the prototype, this prototype runs non-UI, also known as Switchboard. Essentially, for those who don't know, non-UI is a version of iOS that is purely designed for testing and engineering. All of the common apps that you would know from a normal iPhone aren't present, and instead you're greeted with these rather interesting to say apps. But before taking a look at these apps, let's take a look at the actual hardware aspects in terms of the chip fusing and the actual operating system itself. What you're currently looking at is the boot up process of this iPhone. And by inspecting this information, we can see a few interesting details. We're gonna look at the iBoot header to actually distinguish this information. First of all, we can see that it says iBoot for D20, which of course, as we discussed earlier, means iBoot for the iPhone 8. We can see that the copyright date is 2017, which makes sense as it's running a prototype version of iOS 11. We can see that it's a local boot, which basically just means that the actual operating system being booted is off of the NAND. We can see the configuration of the logic board. The iBoot version, which notably does predate the release iOS 11 iBoot version. The build style, which on release devices would normally be production, but because this is a prototype, it's developmental. And finally, some more hardware information, which includes the serial number, the ECID, and a few other pieces of key information. But what we're most interested in is the CPFM, which is the chip fusing. And in this case, because it is 01, it means that the CPU inside of this device is dev fused. Something also very interesting is my prototype air power, which I have previously shown off in different videos, which if you haven't seen it, it'll be linked in the description, works with the iPhone 8 prototype. So basically, I'm charging a prototype phone with a prototype charger. But anyways, now let's actually dive into the prototype software. For this part of the video, I'm going to remain silent so you can fully engage in what's going on on screen.
that pretty much wraps up what I wanted to cover in this video about this iPhone 8 prototype. Thanks for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this video, please share, like, and subscribe as it really helps motivate me to continue to create more content just like this and show these very elusive and rare prototypes. Anyways, I hope you liked it and have a great day.